That's the Planet of the Vapes Lightly Used section, man, where you can get really good deals. Yeah, so tonight tonight we're talking about budget vapes that are 100 bucks ish or less. Mm. And uh, Planet of the Vapes has eight vapes right now in their $100 or less section. Several of them that are typically more than $100, like the Riser Solo 2. That's a fantastic 90, value. 95 for a Solo 2, that's... That's crazy. That's less than the solo would be if you could still get it. Man, fifty-four dollars for a flower may be five. That's a great deal. I mean, that's an old school vape, but that's that's the one that convinced me that vapes can be pocketable and functional. Like that was the one that was like, yo, this this vape is worth recommending to a somebody that wants vapes. Because before before that vape, everything was like the magic flight launch box kind of thing you know where it's like if you wanted to get a good vape you had to like learn how to ride a, a unicycle so like or 250 dollar packs yeah exactly I mean? so like the v5 was like the first 100 dollar vape that was good that worked like just pack weed and vape i am not gonna hate on that vape pro um it's old as shit but it was good back then and it's still good now it's glass and ceramic for the most part bro that's that's yeah. pretty dope it's a good it's a good vapor path i can tell you right now i can't think of another vape for 55 bucks that that did a, a, an electronic vape that i like that would no nah, that's got to be the best deal on electronic vape i would think 55 the bucks. uh the best the best three hundred dollar vapes here yeah i've been thinking about this i've been thinking about this all week because actually, I've been thinking about it longer than all week, but I had to like wrap it up this week because we're talking about it tonight. Obviously, when people come at me and they're looking to to start vaping weed and they only want to spend like a hundred bucks, like when when they say they're on a budget, and I say what's the most you can spend, they're like I don't want to go over a hundred bucks. That, that's it's a pretty common line, mm -hmm. and it, it usually boils down to these three vapes, and. The, the the trifecta of how I want to present them, uh, the the X Max V3 Pro. This is the Planet of the Vapes one version, or the Planet of the mm -hmm. Vapes version, and the Planet of the Vapes one, and the Dynavat B. The the way I present these to people is on a scale of mindfulness or mind that's involved in the sesh. So mm -hmm. like the Dynavat B, what you have with the B is like a, a 100% mindful sesh. Like you are involved in depth with the loading, with the heating as you go and you torch the tip, you're listening for the click. You hear that click, you're you're vaporizing, you're pulling air through manually, pulling your your finger on and off of that airport to to control fresh air. You're 100% involved mindfully with the vaping experience with the B. While with the Planet of the Vapes 1, you pack your weed in it, you turn it on, and you vape. You can be looking at porn and doing things. You could be playing video games. You could be on the phone chatting with people. You don't have to pay attention. designed it for porn. I appreciate that, Troy. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to be involved with the device or with the vaping experience. You just put your mouth to it and inhale. So two opposite ends of the the mindful experience spectrum you have, you have the b which is like a ritualistic experience so you're you're very involved with the vape and the vapor and then you have the one which is kind of the mindfulness or the, the mindless and in between you have the v3 pro the v3 pro is kind of mind mindless you can pack it and go but there's also like the 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 convection factor where you have like the bowl warming, you can get a little better vapor if you if you puff some some hot air through it before taking your hit. Uh, you're a little more involved with this as a session vape, like if you're packing multiples and going, but uh, it's not 100% mindless because to get the best experience, you have to kind of do it a certain way. What do you think of that? What do you think of the like very involved somewhat involved mindless where you can just like vape and do yeah. things i think that's a great perspective and even even when you when when you pick session mode on the v3 pro 
it still doesn't um, hit the full spectrum that the one does as far as forgiveness in your in your vape style. So it doesn't matter which one you pick in this. I, th I think your classification for me, I, I agree with that. That works real well. Um, I pretty much typically, if somebody wants a, a cheap vape, the first thing I go for is the one. Um, it's electronic. It's easy. It's simple. It has everything you need on the display. You've got your set temp, your actual temp, the battery level, and how much time is left in the session at a glance, which is important to me. If you don't have those, I think you're missing something on your screen. If you have more than that, I think you might have too much. So it kind of really hits the easy sweet spot. And by the way, so does the V3 Pro. It's very similar. Same control scheme. Oh, they're very similar. Uh, where the V3 Pro really kind of shines is for me is in, they've solved the battery life problem. How they got a longer battery life and a removable battery in USB-C. None of that is with the one. With the one, you can't take the battery out. It's micro USB. Um, you're, you're stuck with it. And it's an average at best battery life. I, you know, typically below average, you know. So um, I think I think for the light to typical user, this vape is fine. Somebody is going to pick this up maybe once every couple of days. Battery life will last a week for them. They're fine, you know, whatever. I, I think this is good to go. I like the form factor. For me, I've never been a, a fan of the cigar thing ever since I came into this industry and there were just two of them. I didn't like them. I just don't like that. It's 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 a little more awkward in the pocket than the smaller one. So um, that's just my personal opinion. I usually roll with this one. Also, as Troy said, there's a little bit to this one with the convection. If you are going to take a draw that is not three seconds long, I think you're better suited for the one. Uh, I feel like this one about two seconds starts to do what it ought to do. And at three seconds is when you really realize it. And then five and beyond, it's whoops, ass. So... For the sippers, the people who are coming from a pack, so it's like the, that's that's not going to cut it on this one. You definitely want to go with something more like the one. And then with the with the vap cap, fuck man, I love them, man. Like they're they're cheaper than all these. And like you said, the mindfulness factor is fantastic. Like I like to take this when I'm riding shotgun. You see me with this one all the time when I'm doing my shotgun with a med card. It's got this and some fucking thing because it's just so great to just sit there and just chill the fuck out as you're heating and getting into it. And even now when I don't twirl, it still kind of draws me in. When you twirl, it really draws you in. But even now it still does. So I, I appreciate the B tonight. I loaded it up Troy style with a, uh, a full metal jacket on there so that we could get like that extra oomph on the little half load that is ready to go. So I'm, oh, I'm nice. stoked about this. I have mine set up with the armored cap. Obviously yeah. it's the beta armored cap. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to do that, but rock on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Some more more factors. So you you touched on the the long draw. So like if, you, if you're not capable of taking a longer draw, like if you have baby lungs or uh, don't want to take big hits or whatever this one may not may not be for you because of the, the convection factor uh, and, and uh, i'm sorry I, I didn't mean to cut you off but i mean i've timed that out and it it's not huge i don't want to harp on it like the v3 pro really works you know what i mean it's just that if you're literally going to pick this up and go no, that you got to go a little bit longer than that, in my opinion. So yeah, yeah, like mouth to lung because this this is not a mouth to lung vape. Like if, if you're if you're really gonna go like that, like this isn't the one. Like you can't you can't pack style this one. You can pack style this one a little bit, mm -hmm. but it, it still works better if you actually just direct to lung inhale. You can mouth to lung the B. Mm -hmm. The B is a good mouth to lunger. The the thing with the B. And any Dynavat for that matter, you get out of it what you put in. Uh, it's a very agile vape. You can pack it tight. You can pack it loose. You can heat it aggressively. You can heat it past the click. You can alter the cap to make it have more heat retention. It's a very agile and very capable vaporizer. And in the right hands, packed the right way with the right heating tools, this Dynavat can put out vapor that hits damn close to the hardest hitting ball vape. Like you, the problem is I can't get it every time. Like you can't get like the, the crazy Dynavap hit every single time because you're riding so close to like the line. You just end up combusting. Uh, 
somewhat. And that's also a different hit. It's a different, it's a different hit than a ball vape hit because to get those thick hits, you got to pack tight and you got to heat it in your, your mouth to lung in it. So you're, you're pulling through a restricted bowl and you're pulling really thick, uh, heavy conduction, uh, radiant vapor versus like a ball vape where it's like all convection fluffy. Well, the, the, the thing that you can't get around, Troy, I want to make this point clear. There is just about no weed in his vape. Okay. So we're comparing yeah. this to a vape that normally on the ball vape side compares. It has like about a quarter of a gram in it. This one has almost no weed in it. <laughs> Mine has about 0 0.07 grams or about a third or a quarter of what Troy would normally have in his ball vape. But what 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 we both will tell you is that even though we beat the hell out of these ball vapes with a quarter of a gram in them, when we hit these motherfuckers, we look at them like, what the fuck just happened? Because we know there's nothing in here. And yet the hit is pretty fucking impressive. So anyhow, are we going to get on this now? Can we get to it? My torch ran out of gas. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go at it here. And like I said, I'm not twirling on this thing. I normally wouldn't twirl on this anyhow, but now I have the full metal jacket, so I'm really not going to twirl. I'm just going to aim at that ass and do my job. But uh, this thing should click soon enough. And it's only a half bowl with a full metal jacket. It's almost not even fair. I like using a single torch. It takes a little longer, but you don't have to spin with a single torch. If you get a, a triple torch or a quad, you might want to troll it a little bit or you might overdo it, but this one, single torque does me right. Almost lost the cap on this one. Very. Mm. Mm. Oh, that was brilliant. I love that. Hmm. All of my torches are out of gas, and my gas can a, doesn't fit any of my torches. I see a blazer behind you. Right there to your right. Yeah, try that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's, it this works. is what you want me to do? Try the ray gun. The ray gun's not as aggressive, right? Click. <laughs> Oh, it's great, man. And these things you got to let cool down. These fucking heavy metal jackets and the fucking the one that he's got there, the uh, armor cap. They're fucking great, though, man. If you, you know what? We keep talking about a bigger bowl, and maybe a bigger bowl is great. But what's really even better is is more heat and fuller extraction. I like that. There you go, Troy. You you push through and you got it with the blazer. I appreciate delicious. that. It's fucking delicious. That's how you do it. <laughs> maybe that's the approach for the armored cap and now with the armored cap you can just use your big ass torches yeah you know what you're right they can kind of take it I mean I don't want to live with the blazer on a vap cap it feels weird but if you need to like if, it, if, if like you just had your little one broke I was going in for a second cycle on this fucker I love it or at least, oh, you're you're past the click, aren't you? I'm you past the click. I'm just okay. giving it a little oomph. Okay, that I get. Oh, you're going to second cycle and go, my man. My man. Yeah, don't look at the guy. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, that's funny, man. <laughs> Guys, you know if there's something to... You know Troy's going to do this is all I'm going to say. You know that's why it's... I like pushing the limits, man. I am a reverse engineer kind of person. I like taking shit apart. I like pushing the limits of things. I like manipulating the URLs of websites and breaking things by accident. <coughs> you know, I'm I'm that guy. Nice. I like to uh, use it as intended, and then and then slowly slowly build out from there. You know what I'm saying? So you and I come at it from other ends. It's fucking fun, man. Like it's funny how you and I'll pick up a vape and I'll be, I'll, I'll just start the instructions while you're like going at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, My wife's the same way. I don't like to read the instructions. The, the, the instructions are merely there for a reference point. If I need to visit, you know, 
There you go. I get you, man. I get you. Not me. I love him. I, I, I see him as a guide to quicker success, less failure, less mistakes, fewer mistakes. And uh, which just saves time. I mean, you use things as intended, like as they were built to fix problems, then you don't have those problems. So that's all I'm saying. But this, I'm getting down the road here, man. Which yeah. one do you want to use, use next, man? You want to go on. with the V3? I want to I want to explain the Dynavat for anybody that's uninitiated because there there may be some watchers in the the video version that that rewatch this that don't understand what the hell just happened. Thank you. So the Dynavat B, as it's called. Whoops, this little CCD is falling out. Is it? No. Focus wasn't helping you either. There we go. So the Dynavat B. This is a little silicone stem with a stainless steel tip. This is the little bowl that Jerry was talking about. It only holds like 0 0.08 or so. It's very small. Very small. You don't need to load it from your grinder. You can scoop right off your nug. The little cap that goes over it, stainless steel thing. Inside down here, there's a little disc that is a thermostat. So you put this over your, your bowl. You heat it with a torch or you can use an induction heater. Normally, you don't use this i'm just a fucking freak sometimes I normally use like a small pocket torch you heat it when it reaches vaporization temperatures that little clicker inside will make two clicking sounds that you use as like your auditory signal that neither uh, start counting down if you're going to go past the click or stop heating and take your hit basically the click means it's time to vapor you're within the vaporization temperature zone uh, usually one or two or three heating cycles, depending on how you packed it, will completely vaporize the tip. Some people only go one heating cycle and they, they dump it out and they're done. Uh, it's a very, very effective cannabis microdoser and it's only $49. Available in several colors as well. Uh, if it's a 10 mil bong, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. So if you got a little 10 mil bong, if you like, if you're a dab person, uh, all the, all the, Badass quartz bangers nowadays are 10 mil nail. So this will fit those same rigs. And if they're small enough, it'll it'll perform well with them as well. If you and if you've been like wary of a VAB cap because you think, uh, fuck that, they're I don't want to get into the technique and spend all my time figuring shit out. For me, the B right out of the box with a single flame torch is as easy as it gets. I don't twirl it, you don't have to. You can and get a little better performance but it is enough for me to bother so you can just it's now it's easier to heat up you just slap that sucker on there and go to town and then when it's done i can usually finish it off in one or two cycles so you don't have to sit there and go through three or four cycles it's a smaller bowl so i think they've really done a great job of making that accessible the silicone does not get hot like any of the other stems metal ones get hot quicker the wood ones are great the silicones are the best as far as if you're going to go you know back to back to back to back so i literally it's torched it in my in my b review video i was like I, I did the thing i'm like look at me i'm a drunk asshole at the bar you know like torching my vape you know and i did the thing it didn't it didn't melt it it did fuck it up it didn't get hot love it very nice that's Very Troy. Nice. See, no, I didn't because I was reading the instructions. But Troy, I appreciate you, brother, doing that for us. <laughs> well, George, George did it to me. George, like when when I when I first saw the bee with George, that's that's how he showed. You know, he's like, look at this. It's like, look what you can do. <laughs> you know? Oh shit! Oh shit, man. That's fucking great. Nice. Yeah. Well, dope. No, oh, good. I'm glad you pointed that out. And I, I'm running mine with the armored cap. <clears throat> So the armor cap is 40 bucks. So you can get the B and the armored cap for less than a hundred bucks, or you can get the FMJ or the VAP hit hmm. instead of the armor cap. If you don't like the armor cap, I like the armor cap. I think it works pretty good. Yeah, I agree. Um, you can get, uh, you go to Dynavap and shop there and get 10% off with Troy and Jerry as your code. Or you can uh, go to Planet of the Vapes. They got them too and get some uh, freebies or bundle them with other stuff for even more freebies. So uh, there's all kinds of ways you could go about it. And again, if you're completely uh, uninitiated to the, if you're unfamiliar with the Dynavap and the Dynaverse, there's probably a hundred or hundreds of third party makers who make stems and Dynavap accessories. It's a pretty big community. So there's a whole bunch of people that are into it. A lot of different ways to set up your Dynavap, including like pipes where you can have like your Dynavap in a pipe and 
different ways to heat your Dyna Vaps. It's a whole new world, Little Mermaid style. It really is. And you don't have to do that. You can just get a B or an M and have everything mm -hmm. you need. Or if that's your style like us, you can go deep sea fishing and do a lot of other stuff with them. So they're fun. The Legos of, uh, of the big <laughs> yeah. world. So, yeah. yeah. That's fucking great, man. Yeah. Well, sweet, man. Which one do you want to do next? You want to do the, you want to go through your list, <clears throat> your, your hierarchy of ease? Well, <clears throat> since, since the B is like ritualistic and a very mindful experience, I, I think it's very mindful. Like it's involved. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be super involved. You can definitely vape the bee, and, and while while doing things, while watching TV and playing video games and stuff. But there's still the ritual. Like you're you're involved in the ritual. Um, whereas something like this, I'm gonna vape this now. The the V3 Pro can be like a session vape. You can turn it into session mode, or you can have it on demand mode, which is something that the other two vapes don't really do. Exactly. So this vape. You can you can pack it, you can put it in your pocket, you can go out on out uh, during do your day like normal, have it in on demand mode, and be like, hey, I I want one hit from my vape right now. Reach into your pocket, turn it on, hold the button, it'll warm up. You can, and then you go. We'll chief on these a long time, guys, to get these monster hits. And then you put it in your back in your pocket and go on with your shit. I turn mine into sesh mode because that's the kind of guy I am. I like to keep session on my vape. And mine's set to 399 right now. I'll show you the bowl. The, what's nice about this, it's got this nice little funnel shaped area to load. The is this the bowl of stainless steel on this one, Jerry? All right. I think so. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not totally sure on that, but I think so, yeah. <clears throat> Mouthpiece has this little digger outer tool. So like when your bowl is done, you can use it to scoop it out. And the plan the plan of the vapes version of this vape oh. has a nipple glass mouthpiece. Yes. It makes a nice difference. It makes it makes a nice it, it makes the mouthpiece heavier, which I don't like compared to the mm. other one. So like mm -hmm. if you if you swing your vape like a knife, the mouthpiece could come flying off because it's it's heavier with the glass. But uh, just don't do that. Just don't swing your vape like a knife. Hold it together if you're gonna do this. If you're gonna if you're gonna go, yeah, yeah. if you're gonna attack somebody with your vape, unless you want this to projectile off, you could sling that fucker off. In that case, it's a it's a feature, but I had never considered it. So could be a whole new genre of vapes. Vapes as weapons. Vape foo, no. motherfucker. Here we come. Vape foo. Hmm. I used to always include something like that in my videos. Like when I was reviewing vapes, I would uh, talk about how they were durable. And if you could use it as a murder weapon. Like if I put this vape in a sock and fucking whacked you in the head with it, could I murder you with the V3 Pro? Possibly. I think the best best that would be holding it like this and using it like blunt force trauma to the skull but I, it, it would take some force there's not enough weight inertia there you know yeah no I hear you man the I, would probably, I would, I would in, stab in a sock him though mouthpiece first oh yeah oh yeah Oh yeah, that thing in a sock you could fuck with. Yeah, if it's true. If you're if you're not wearing flip flops, the one can be your friend in, in a fight. So, if you're not uh, wearing flip flops, yeah, if you got shoes and socks, you can always just you know take a sock, throw it in there, and fuck somebody up. I would not recommend fighting in flip flops, Jerry. No, that's what I'm saying. If you had, if you're not wearing flip flops, and you're probably wearing shoes and socks, one one is your friend in a fight. I just want to say this. What I what I like about this vape is if if you <laughs> if you want to take a long hit, you know, like that's what I, I do. I, I'm just taking long chiefer motherfuckers, and I'll cash a bowl in two or three hits on this thing, and they're monster hits and they're impactful. It's it's great for that. Like I'll look down and go, "What the fuck just happened to me with with, with this vape right here?" If you take those really long fucking hits and. Uh, Ah, it's great for that. Plus, with this mouthpiece, you can have the water pipe adapter, throw it on a water pipe, and really go to fucking town. 
Although I like it better dry. I think I get thicker hits dry with this one than with the water pipe, but um, I just fucking... I, I'm always impressed by that, Troy. I'm only going to get one more hit off of this fucker the way I go at it. How many hits did you say you get on it? On a bowl with these long hits, I'll get about three. Wow, okay. At this temp, I could probably get another one. Yeah, I don't get I don't get that fast of an extraction with mine, but maybe I overload mine a little bit. I, I that, tend to I tend to fill I'm, the bowl completely. You fill the bowl, plus I'm taking really long, slow hits, which is a different kind of cook. Oof, yeah, that's about it. The fourth one wouldn't make me happy. I'm done with that. Okay. Oh, jeez. I want to see how yours looks on the bottom. Were you at 390 or 399 the whole time? I was at 399, then I, then, then I max tempted it for the last couple hits. All right. I kept mine on 390 the whole sesh. Here's my ebb. Mm. Mm, a little further. So it looks like you may have had a little tunnel there of uh, chars. Look like it to you? Yeah, maybe a little tunneling yeah. on the side. Interesting. interesting. Well, it is interesting, but uh, beside, aside from interesting, it's a fucking sure sign of, of, of a lot of convection heat. You don't get that with anything else. So if there was any debate, that helps. Yeah, this is a lot of convection. The bowl will get hot as the result of that residual convection, so it maintains some heat. Uh, in case we didn't show you, this vape has a removable 18650 battery, which is very nice. A lot of people really like having that feature. <clears throat> it's the only vape from this trifecta with a removable battery. The Dynavat doesn't have a battery. <clears throat> yep. And then the, the one is a unibody design, so you can't remove the battery from this vape. Right. <clears throat> the interface on the V3 Pro here. By the way, this comes in like... What, four different colors? Three different colors? Yeah, they keep adding them. They got another blue coming out now, apparently, too. But there's a green, a, a silver gradient, this this purplish and black. And, yeah, nice three-button interface. You know, you got the power button, three clicks and on, up and down buttons below for temperature. And then you can push, like, combinations of buttons to change the session length or the uh, temperature scale or even whether it goes from session to, see, it's from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And now he's changing from five, six to three minutes, six to four minutes, whatever it is. And then uh, then there's another combo. Of, what is it, all three of them or something? Yeah, that goes from on-demand to session, the, the two temperature buttons together. Troy, you usually like it on demand, correct? No, I, I usually use it as, as a session vape. I mean, it's Me one of the vapes that I recommend typically when people are looking for an on-demand vape, and people look for on-demand vapes often. Mm -hmm. So it is it is one of the ones that I recommend because usually it's a tiny mite, but then then they're like, dude, I can't spend 350 bucks. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I get that. <laughs> you know? right. I hear you. So yeah, the 100 bucks, 109 bucks, is that what this one is? This is 109 bucks, pretty much everywhere. I think it's 109 on Planet of the Vapes. You're holding the Planet of the Vapes model right there. Were you to buy any other model, it would come with a standard mouthpiece, which kind of matches the lips. It doesn't have the glass. The Planet of the Vapes version comes with that glass accessory attachment and the dimple glass mouthpiece, and the battery is uh, jacked up. I think it's a 3200 mAh battery instead of like 26 or whatever they came mm. out with the normal one. So you get a better battery, and then instead of having to spend 15 or 30 bucks or whatever it costs to upgrade your mouthpieces, it already comes with the one you want to begin with. That fucking dimple glass works. I, I dig it. But it's 109 bucks, Troy. So we're a little over 100 bucks with this one. But this one is is this one is is such a box checker that even at nine bucks more you have to include it because the removable batteries the, the on-demand convection the session session and on-demand mode those are those are things that well you mentioned it troy the other vape that does that is 350 bucks or 370 bucks it's you know this this is 109 dollars and it checks those boxes so it's pretty impressive right right um you know, you know, like when you're a kid, 
and your parents says tell you that you can you can spend like a buck or whatever mm-hmm. and then you learn the lesson like you buy something for 99 cents and it comes out to be like a dollar 10 or whatever because yeah. of taxes that's how i round up like i round up with like taxes like there's a tax range mm-hmm. <clears throat> so for me this ape is 100 bucks <laughs> I fucking love it. Because you spent you well, go, if you if you if you were to buy a hundred dollar vape, by the time you add shipping and taxes and all that shit, you're spending a hundred and hundred and fifteen. Hundred twenty. That's true. That's true. So when the, well, when the vapes do they ever have do they ever have any like free shipping deals or anything like that? Uh, Planet of the Vapes says free shipping and a tight vac with pretty much everything or a gift card or something. It's it, it's pretty silly that what what you get included with the, with the package. Um, the by the time a lot of people see this package video, it's going to be close to four twenty, and at that point, you'll be able to get this V three Pro for about I don't know eighty nine bucks or some shit like that eighty eight bucks. The B that we just showed you might be as low as forty. And the one that we're about to show you that's 99 is all can be all the way down to 79 and change. So uh, that happens on 420 and Black Fridays. So keep an eye out for that. But otherwise, even if you don't get those sales, it these these particular vapes bring a feature set and a performance to a price point that pretty much just goes, uh, just buy it whenever you want. I mean, it's really you're not getting ripped off with any of these three. They really nail what they fucking do. So um they work. I want to hit the one, bro. The they one. work. Because I'm fucking high as shit. <clears throat> right? Can we do the one now, man? Mine's packed and ready. What is going on in the chat? I don't... <laughs> There's so much going on. Uh, <clears throat> All right, I'm, turn, I'm turning my chat on. My, my ch- I'm turning my chat on. Hey, yeah. What's it that. called? Like when, you, when one of the words you just said comes back into your dialect because your brain's fucked up? On marijuana you're ahead of me man you're ahead of me right now that's showing the set temp and the actual temp and the actual climbs and the battery level and the set temp will change to the session timer once it hits the actual temp I'm trying to manhandle it yeah you are you're doing great right, i'm gonna Plus start 30. out at what, 385 what's a good what's what's your what's your vape temp at home what do you guys prefer to vape your weed on in a portable vape right when I, when I when I vape what when I vape for the market I hit 390 just kind of down the middle I just kind of <clears> let's see what it's like at 390 so All right, so once it hits it starts a little sesh timer I like oh, that Oh you're there okay I, I like I like having that sesh timer man that's Yeah I like to know what's up you know the mighty and the packs have their own system going on where they watch you so you don't have to sweat it which is even better but otherwise, let me know what the fuck it is. And this one shows some of them don't, but these do. I like that. <laughs> Same with the V3 Pro. <laughs> 350 on the Mighty, 380, then 430. 404 temp not found. 400 plus. All right. All right. So this is easy. It's like this is, this is. Like you, you pass this around in a circle, you don't have to tell anybody anything. Uh-uh. It's a great share. If they do a mouth to lung, they get a little wispy hit. Which is fine for a lot of people. Like if people don't want a big hit, you know, they yeah. just want to try. They just want to try some marijuana vapors. Right. You know, they, a lot they of may people. Not, yeah, a lot of people don't want to commit to a lung full of vapor. A lot of people don't want to cough their face off. Yep. But you can also go long and get a mouthful. You can. You can. I like that this is the sliding mouthpiece rather than the one that clicks in from the side. Because that little nub eventually wears shitty and then doesn't stay on anymore. <laughs> Fold yep. off in your pocket. It's super frustrating. I like how this one can pretty much be pretty, pretty incognito. I mean, you can be pretty discreet with this. Just... I mean, you really can. Like, you can, you can, you can fucking, you can fist this fucker. Yeah, you could totally fist this, and even use it as a weapon in your fist. That's right. It's heavy enough for that too. You really could just really come down on somebody hard with this. 
And if you came down on them with this end first, you'd really be in a, you could fuck somebody up. You get your thumb over the back end like a Kubaton maneuver and just drive that thing down anywhere. <laughs> could be a collarbone. Could be a collarbone. That would be a good place to kind of mobilize somebody who's attacking you. Self defense, yeah. of course. Yeah, we'll go for the throat, the collarbone. I remember when, when we talked to Elias Theodoro, rest in peace, my friend. Yeah, brother. Uh, you you talked about how you've only been in like one fight in your life or something. You got your ass handed to you. Yeah. So we're we're are, are we are we questioning my. Uh, no, no, I'm in this area. No, I'm not questioning <laughs> your expertise. I'm, I'm questioning your your uh, like, where is this coming from? Like, you're like getting into like, yeah, let's fucking fuck some water. You know, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna hold my thumb on this and cut the jugular. You know, like you're. That's funny. Well, this comes from um, a self defense class that uh, that I had taken with my wife and my daughters at one point. There's a, a women's uh, self defense uh, company in the area that a buddy of mine runs does a really good job with it, and uh, we took that. and And one of the classes was for a kubaton, which is just a little fucking little baton, very small, like about a keychain baton. It goes on your keychain. And uh, there's a whole self-defense almost discipline around it. So you can take this thing and like fuck shit up. Uh, but mostly what you need to remember is if this were the Kubaton, this would be a good Kubaton too, brother. It's good shape. Keep your, keep, hold it like this because that's where you can get your force. You don't want to hold it like this or like this or fuck that. You want to have it like this so that when you come in, you're coming in. And then it's about where do you come at them? And, and you know, there's certain places that um, are exposed and very painful. And the collarbone is one of them. You know, anywhere in the neck is a good place to... Because, like, you're not trying to kill somebody or you're just trying to get them to get the fuck off you long enough so you can run. So you do anything like that, and that's going to that's gonna make them pause long enough to where you can escape and you're out of there. Because nobody wants to fuck with you if you're going to fight back. So that that was the idea, and that's where this kind of came from. So yeah, that, that's where that came from, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Always been a big fan of eye gouges, groin kicks. Right on. Anyway, the bowl of the one also a little funnel shaped, and there's that you can see the little sliding mouthpiece area. Uh, uh -huh. This is a titanium. Bowl, if I recall correctly. Yeah, that's right, brother. Titanium bowl and a stainless steel heater. And then the ABV that I just vaped from there oh. is uh, now on the vape itself. <laughs> cool. yeah, nice job, man. I love it. Oh, that's great. Half it's on the floor. <laughs> or at least now it's on the floor. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice little. Uh, nice little. Uh, how much? How much is the plan of the vapes one right now? 99 bucks like this if you want to add some of the glass i think my glass is up here um i've got these and then uh this if you like like you can roll like this just on your own hit the road um in your pocket this dimple glass stem covers the bases if you wanted to get a little get a little more cooling a little smoother you could go with a bubbler but if you're gonna go a bubbler fuck this flat one and and get the curved one the curved one's the way to go it's a lot more relaxed hit yeah so if you have if this comes with you can upgrade to this if you want and it is smoother you will dig it and if you're just running around on your own with you want a extra cooling that's the way to go the other way is a water pipe adapter if you have a bubbler at home if you've got some shit at home that you want to power this one will actually fucking do it for a few hits so um give it a shot with the water pipe adapter if you've got some that'll hook up to that's what that's about and that's only 10 bucks more so it's 99 by itself if you want one of these at the time of purchase as an extra 10 bucks i highly recommend it um just figure out which way which <coughs> one of these two you want fuck the flat one whichever one of these two you want to go figure out which one you want okay. and uh, I'll go from there <coughs> all right all right jerry so let's let's play a little game now i like games so we did we did these we did these three vapes. We got got the Planet of the Vapes one, got the Dynavat B, 
And then we got the X Max B3 Pro Planet of the Vapes One Edition. Which one of these is the best for sharing, Jerry? Like you go out on the on, on the town with you're going to the bars, you're going to a wedding reception, you're going to a family reunion, you're gonna vape out your cousins and your uncles and all that shit, whatever it is. Which which one of these is gonna gonna be best? For me, you're asking me. Yep. That yeah, that's a no brainer. It's the one. Yeah, totally. Planet of the Apes one. That's yeah. that's the one. It's easy to easy to share in a circle. Uh, I've actually gone to sessions with two of these and compared it to the Mighty. And two of these is almost more effective than the Mighty. Than like, one Mighty? Yeah, just because you get two vapes going around. It's, it's pretty effective, pretty effective. That's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. And you could even buy three and still have money left over for what you'd have to pay on a Mighty. So that's cool. Yeah, totally. Which one of these is best for a bong? I would probably, right? Yeah, like like I assume a bong user is going to huff that fucker. So that guy, you know, he's going to take a big long hit. You know, you know, you're not just like fucking sipping on bongs. I'm going to give him the V3 Pro. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> it, it's I would a take... big bong. You're definitely a big bong. Like you, you mentioned the B with the little 10 millimeter dab rigs, and that's a nice hit. But I, I think the V3 Pro is probably the, the winner all around. I th yeah, I think the V3 Pro is, is, a, is a good bong ripper. The Dynavap can do really good on a bong. Like mm -hmm. once, you, once you dial it in, once you get it going, uh, I would even argue that the Dynavap might be better on a bong as long as it's really just you session. If you, if you ever need to share or if, if, you're, if you're a casual a vaporist, yeah, this, this is, this is going to be a better bong experience, I think. If you're willing to dial it in and you're cool with a torch, you can get a vap cap to do just about anything you want. And it, it will absolutely get a better rip. If you if you know what you're doing, you can get a better rip with a vap cap than, well, like you and I said it, man, even some of these desktops, like you can really you can figure that shit out. It's there. <laughs> By the way, I couldn't show you before because the, the tip was still hot from the art right. from that big torch. But that's all the green. Yeah, there's plenty of green left in there. So I could I could wow. hit this thing again. And get more vapor from it again. So yeah, yes, actually, which I think I might as well do, right? Right. All right. How about this one? I got one for you. You're uh, you're gonna sneak away. Can you hear me, Troy? Yes, I can. Okay, so you're gonna sneak away for a little me time. Just wanna just wanna get a little me time, and then maybe meditate a little bit. That's kind of like your 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 vape to kind of get you ready for some meditation and contemplation. Which one of these three are you going to grab? Probably the B. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because if I'm meditating, yeah, I want I want something that's all about the awareness and and the mindfulness. Go to the park and have some like sessions, which I actually wanted to do today, but it's been rainy. Mm. I mean, Give me this ads, but I, I napped on the couch with the wife anyway. But yeah, totally the B. The B is like a, a, a it's a mindfulness vape. Mm -hmm. It's it's very it's a mindfulness experience. It's very ritualistic. The ritual is therapeutic. Probably uh, it adds adds to the experience. So like you you get the the medicinal value of the cannabis, but then you get the medicinal value of the therapy from the therapeutic ritual so you got like the little ritualistic things it makes That's you feel better point. it's calming set the intention i like that yeah i combusted by the way that can happen too that means that just means we get to do a dab it's been a while since so we did a penalty dab on this spot baby i'm excited about that <laughs> yeah. penalty dab. it combusted late like the first couple of hits were really good and then the armored cap heat retention thing kicked in you know like the the delayed uh -huh, uh -huh. It's, not, it's not as uh as big of a swing as the fmj have found oh i hear which, you there. I hear which, you. which i may like better i'm not sure yet i need to spend more time with it but okay. uh, i'm excited to spend that time with it
up, Troy? Happy Friday, Jerry. Good to see you, man. Whew. Good to see you too, man. Good to see you too.